Star Trek Prodigy still might get saved, not just for the season two that they're already making, but somebody might be about to order season three too. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV movie channel. So when Paramount Plus announced that it was not only removing season one of Star Trek Prodigy from Paramount Plus, but also that they would not be showing season two, there was, it's fair to say, uproar. A lot of Star Trek fans went absolutely nuts. Now, a lot of people didn't actually see Star Trek Prodigy. It was a kid's cartoon, so why bother? But I've actually been arguing since I did finally get around to watching it that this is actually one of the most Trek shows that we've actually had really during this whole period of new Trek. Yes, it's animated. Yes, it's aimed at kids. Yes, it's irritating in places because it's aimed at kids. But actually, from like a Gene Roddenberry point of view, like a Star Trek point of view, it's one of the most trekky things we've had. And it had big Star Trek moments in it, like the destruction of the Enterprise E. So the fact that people didn't watch it confused me. <laughs> I would have thought Trekkies would eat it up. And to be honest, it was really heartwarming to see the reaction when Paramount Plus did make its announcement. They put out a petition immediately on Change.org and it's had over 32,000 signatures. Now that's actually more signatures than the Strange New Worlds petition had that, you know, Paramount made such a fuss about, you know, delivering what we want to the fans and all that. So in theory, Paramount should listen again, right? Well, they did announce almost immediately, actually, the Star Trek Prodigy was not cancelled. They were not going to be shown on Paramount Plus, but they were looking for somebody else to buy it. Now, previously, a lot of Star Trek has been done in partnership with other production companies to save costs. For example, the first two seasons of Picard were only on, initially at least, Amazon Prime. The third season was Amazon Prime as well, but the day after, it premiered on Paramount Plus. Lower Decks has always been on Amazon Prime as well, even though now that is also moving to Paramount Plus as well. In the last two years, you see, Paramount has been trying to move Star Trek back to Paramount Plus because Star Trek is considered the jewel in the crown over there. But fortunately, though, more recently, the reality has started to bite. Paramount Plus subscriptions has not been as successful as they'd hoped. They really hoped that people would follow Star Trek to it. They didn't at least not in the numbers they'd hoped. So Paramount are having to go back to that original formula of trying to sell TV products like Star Trek Prodigy to other streaming services to just generate a bit of income. And it looks like Star Trek Prodigy has found that streaming provider. Now, producers have actually already admitted this. They've already said the conversations have happened and those conversations had been fruitful. But we didn't know who they were talking to. Well, thanks to sources I have in and around Paramount, it turns out that those people are Amazon Prime. Now, when Star Trek Prodigy was actually removed from Paramount Plus, it did appear on Prime behind a paywall, so you could pay for it to rent it, but it wasn't available on Prime generally for anyone to watch. I'm hearing though that conversations are continuing and negotiations are happening right now. But more than just taking on season two, apparently Amazon are already talking to Paramount about ordering a third season. Amazon have been very happy with the numbers they've been getting from people purchasing the first season of Prodigy and actually believe they could have another really good animated series on their hands. So they're very keen to actually not just take the show on because the season two has already virtually been made, but to actually go beyond that and make more Prodigy. Now, if this actually comes off, I think a lot of Star Trek fans are going to be seriously excited about this. I personally hope that Amazon sort of change the tone slightly of Star Trek Prodigy moving forward to make it a slightly more grown-up animated series. You're not Janeway. No, I'm the Doctor. 
an emergency medical holographic program, and dear friend of the Admiral, mm. member of the Voyager crew, hero of the Delta Quadrant. But even if they don't, to be honest, what we got from the first season, particularly the last couple of episodes of the first season, were quite excellent. It, it's Voyager, but not like Jacob's ever seen it. Her predecessor is a floating museum, so Janeway thought it was high time for an upgrade. So, we have to wait and see what happens, but my sources are telling me that those negotiations are still moving forward, and basically... It's really just a sticking point on money right now. But as soon as those contracts are realized and finalized, we could get Star Trek season two of Prodigy on Amazon very, very quickly followed by the announcement that we're also going to be getting a season three. So guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think. Have you seen Star Trek Prodigy yet? Do you understand the excitement that basically a lot of Trekkies have and why they got so upset when Paramount made the decision that they did. But also, what do you think about the plans for a season three? Is that as exciting to you as it is to me? Because I love this show. I actually think the animated stuff currently is the only good Trek coming out of sort of the Kurtzman era. I think it's way better than Strange New Worlds even. I can't wait for more Prodigy. But what do you think? Get into the comments. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, you know what to do. And also you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos appear first. And for a small contribution each month, and you even get a free gift, you get to see those videos without the adverts and before everyone else. Also, you can go to sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated sidetrack website, where stories from most of our videos appear and you get a little bit of extra content. So please go over and check that out. As always, please stay safe, and I'll see you next time.